Say hi! 
What you do, you ought to give God your praise right there. Oh, you ought to give God your praise right there. Oh, God. Yes, God. Whatever weight you walked in on you with, it's coming off of you right now. See, every now and then, you shouldn't shout for your breakthrough. You got to praise God for the people you connected to. I'm going to give you 60 seconds. If praise is what you do, don't wait till the battle is over. You ought to shout right now.
I owe God a praise. I'm going to say it again. I owe God a praise. Grandmama said when I look back over my life and I think things over, I don't know about you, but I got to praise her. I got to praise her. I said I got to praise her. I said I got to praise her. Good morning, Rock City. I feel old school. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Baby girl, it's a promise with your name on it. I just need you to testify to somebody in your section and tell them if he did it for me. That's the wrong neighbor. Push five people. Say he can do it for you too. Shake them a little bit and shout, it's getting ready to happen. Tell them it's getting ready to happen. Tell them it's getting ready to happen. I said it's getting ready to happen. I said it's getting ready to happen. I said it's getting ready to happen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what you're waiting on. But I got a word for you. It's get ready to happen. That's the wrong neighbor. Look at another neighbor and say, neighbor. It's get ready to happen. Look at another neighbor and say, neighbor. It's get ready to happen. It's get ready to happen. It's get ready to happen. Hold on, Rock. If I was at an old school church, they would have said, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. You ain't Baptist enough. Say, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. I got a word for you. And the word is, it's getting ready to happen. I got to go. I got to go because I have church. I got to go because I have church. Say, neighbor, it's getting ready to happen. I got to go. Now I have to pray for you.
sir, I'm so sorry. We normally don't carry on like this. We normally dignify, but when you get around people with faith, that man said, I may not, but it's on the way. Say it again. I may not see it now, but it's on the way. You say, I may not see it. I may not see it now. You say. One more time. I may not see it. Oh, 
Where is that coming from? Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, Rod. Oh, there he is. There we go. Okay. Where is he? Okay. Okay. Get boy and come come on. It's already mine! It's already mine! 
They done came out the parking lot. They done came out the parking lot. This is what I want right here. Give me 300 men on fire for Jesus. It's on the way. Say it, fellas. It's on the way. 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 It's on the way.
may not see it now, but I know it's on the way. I may not see it now, but I know it's on the way. I may not see it now, but I know it's on the way. Can you help us with that, Bravis? It's on the way, Jesus. It's on the way. It's on the way, God. It's I may not see it now, but I know it's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Uh, it's on the way. It's on the way. I had a I had a message planned for today. I had a message planned today, but I think the word God wanted to get to us is it's on the way. It's on the way. Sometimes it's hard to tell the nights from day. Still that hope that lies within is reassured. As I keep my eyes upon the distant shore, I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared but if the storm don't cease help me God and if the wind
come on, sing that team. I've been through to earth. Get that for me, Leslie. soft man to all my young people in the room or maybe my people who didn't grow up in church Pastor Mike what's happening right now this is what happens when God takes over this is what happened when God takes over and I don't care how big our church get I don't whenever God show up the whole program get thrown out the window right there Hear me when I say this, especially that brother in the corner up there. I hear the Lord saying he heard every prayer you prayed. And the things that you need God to do this week, I hear that in the spirit. I don't know what you got going this week. I don't know what you got going this week. I hear the Lord saying the things you need him to do this week, he's giving you a level of strength to deal with whatever answer he sends you. I want you to know right now, don't know your name, can barely see your face, but we standing with you. You are not by yourself. You are not alone, for God is not giving you the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and that of a sound mind. I speak right now that whatever plan and schemes are being planned over your life, I rebuke that. I come against dis disloyal and toxic friends. I speak by faith right now. He's putting you in a position to where nothing in your family will ever want again. I speak increase. I speak influence. I don't think y'all heard me. I speak increase and I speak I speak that over your life I don't know who you are but I speak the answer you've been praying for Rachel is coming I speak that I don't know why I keep hearing the name Rachel in my spirit but I hear the Lord saying last time I said that I had somebody on online on online to, that's right Ra Rachel that's you Rachel I don't know what it is you waiting to hear from God for I wish I had some oil I touch and agree right now God's giving you every answer you need. I speak by faith that he's giving you wisdom and peace, that the next decision you make, you will not rush into it. But God's giving you vision, clarity. I speak right now that he's giving you the last idea that is connected to your last entrepreneurial investment. I speak by faith he's getting ready to give it to you now, 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 now. I need somebody to just shout, it's already done over her life right there. I speak that. Jesus. This isn't my sermon. This is the scripture that the Lord laid on my heart. I'm going to read this scripture. We're going to go home. I need you to put your faith on it. Amos chapter 9. I don't know if you have it in the back. Uh, I'm going to give you a second to get it together. This is a prophetic utterance. This isn't my message. I will send the message out. But if you're listening to your pastor right here, I have moments where I tell you God said, we have stepped over, crossed over into a God moment. This, help me God, is a God moment. I'm going to send you the message from 9 o'clock. Don't worry about that. I don't want it. That's why even while Brabus was worshiping, he prophetically declared that wasn't on the song list. I want to be very clear. He was supposed to sing the last song. We were supposed to stop after something about the name Jesus. God started leading him. He made a declaration that is on the way. Something about that resonated with your spirit to the point to where it, took, it became contagious. People started giving freely, sowing into that word. That is the proof that we are in a God moment. 
That's why when he was singing and he said, it's already here, I touched him and said, no, go back to what you said. Because just because you're flowing, you don't want to flow past a God moment. All right, so I want to give this to you. Once you got it on the screen, I need you to give it to me, Dre. I know this wasn't part of the plan, and it's a lot of things y'all have to go through to do it. Uh, but I need you to figure that out some kind of way because I want them to see it while I read it. I want my online team to see it while you read it. This is a God moment. I'm going to say it again. This is a God moment. Remember I said that. This is a God moment. The last time a moment like this happened where men bombarded the altar was at the Boutwell Auditorium. From that day till now, things started shifting. Hear me when I say this, because sometimes heaven waits on us to take our place. And hear me when I say this, we have stepped over real quickly, Dre, into a God moment. Somebody ought to shout, I received that, I received that. We have stepped over into a God moment. Amos chapter 9, verse 13 through 15. Amos chapter 9, verse 13 through 15. Even if you got to black the screen out up top and put it up there, I can't miss God for perfection. I don't care if the lower third is right. Uh, this ain't about that. So I want no pressure in the back for things to be perfect. I need them to see this. I don't want to miss God. So in the back, I need y'all to do that quickly, 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 quickly. Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9. I'm not moving, devil. Amos chapter 9, verse 13 through 15. Amos, 9, 13 through 15. Amos chapter 9, 13 through 15. Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9. Even up top, if y'all are working, be working to get your scripture. Throw it up there. Y'all don't need the lower third. If you throw it behind me, I'll go. Amos chapter 9, 13 through 15. Amos chapter 9, 13 through 15. Message version. Message version. I just delayed us another four minutes, but it's cool. I'm not moving until you get exactly what I feel God's saying. Amos chapter 9, 13 through 15. Message version up top. Amos chapter 9, 13, 15. Have you put that in your phone yet? Amos 9. There it is. Here it is. Yes, indeed. Can my online people see that? I need you to thumbs up me. Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. God's decree, you missed it. Yes, indeed. Dre, picture in picture, figure that out. My online members matter to me. They need to be able to see both. Somebody needs to be communicating with me. Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim. What does that mean? Neck blessing, neck blessing, neck blessing. Things will happen so fast. Your head will swim one thing fast on the heels of another. You won't. I said you won't. I said you won't be able, Dre, to keep up. Hold on. Go back. Look at what it says. Yes, indeed. This is a prophetic. This is the book of Amos. It won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim. Watch, watch this. Watch this. If I asked you to keep turning, you would get dizzy. Because this is going to be a season where every time I turn around, I prophesy head swimming blessings over your life. God, get ready to bless you back to back to back, 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 to back. You ought to shout it's on the way. Watch what it says. Things are going to happen so fast your head will swim. One thing, fast, on the heels of the other. Okay, you missed it. One thing, fast, on the heels, Travis, of another. One thing, fast. God is not saying, I'm going to bless you in January. Then I'm going to bless you in February. I can't be on his heels. So that means your next blessing is coming in line with your last blessing. 
That means you're going to get the bill paid, your child scholarship, and a good doctor report all at the same time. Woo! I feel God on that. Watch what it says. One thing, fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, Everywhere, everywhere you look, blessings. Baseball team, that's why y'all got to speak that over your life. You got to say in middle school and high school, I speak blessings over our team. I speak blessings over our family. Every teenage, you got to claim this word and say, God, everything my mom and them need to make everything they need come to pass. I speak that over their life. Everything will be happening at once. Everywhere you look, what? Blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and hills. I'll make everything right again. What are they going to do? Here it is. Here it is. They'll rebuild their ruined cities. Jesus. <laughs> They'll rebuild their ruined cities. They'll plant vineyards and drink good wine. They'll work their gardens and eat their vegetables. Watch this. And I'll plant them and plant them on their own land and they'll never again be uprooted from the land I'm giving them. God, your God says so. I read that scripture to validate what I told you 20 minutes ago. It's on the way. I need for the next 60 seconds for you to get on one accord and release a shout that what we're believing God for it is on the way! Woo. I said it's on the way! Jesus! Hear me. I rarely say God said. This, my brothers and sisters, is a God moment. Hear me when I say this. It is a God moment happening at the right time because the spirit of confusion the spirit of fear it, it is running rampant in our lives and somebody logged on and walked in because you needed another level of confirmation that his hand is on your life and that you're headed in the right direction and I come to decree and declare Amos chapter 9 verses 13 and 15 over your life that things are about to happen fast one thing on the heels of another you won't be able to keep up because everywhere you look you will see blessings Jesus Christ God we surrender in this moment God, we surrender in this moment. We get out the way. Strong faith. Ah, oh, God, we will have strong faith. We will have strong faith. We will have strong faith. Ooh. faith yes God strong faith God strong faith God God I speak strong faith God God I speak strong faith God yes God strong faith God yes God Ooh. I can't take that be strong faith Strong faith, strong faith, God. Strong faith, strong faith, strong faith. It be strong faith. 
Strong faith. Strong faith. Strong faith. Strong faith. Strong faith. I'm sowing in this moment. I can only teach y'all what I do. <sighs> You'll be surprised how many people are operating while under attack. Jesus. You'd be surprised. Whenever I feel a God moment, it requires a God-sized level of faith. I'm sowing in this moment on behalf of our church, right? On behalf of you. Because it's something that got to break off of us. I did say us, didn't I? It's something, whether you're in this room, whether you're watching online, there's a proverbial glass ceiling that's been placed on some of our heads that we try our best to break and it's like God, the level of frustration. And I hear the Lord saying that I'm shattering that ceiling this morning, in this moment. B. And I'm sowing, and it's maybe a hundred of you who are gonna sow with me because there is something God desires to break. This is why I don't make fuss about money this is why you don't see me always raising offerings. Because whenever I feel God, I want you to sense in your spirit, this is different. This is different. This, this ain't, this is different. Hear me when I say this. The last time this happened, and you could feel his presence. And I don't, sometimes I judge the depth of his presence on the people who have to invoke it. Let me make that make sense. If church is good sometimes, and I feel it out here, but I don't necessarily feel it up here. It's levels, outer court, inner court, holies of holies. So sometimes it can feel good to you. I'm like, okay, God, you just moved. Because there's a difference. You got God's omnipresence, which means he's at my house, and he's at your house, and he's at your house. But then you have something biblically called God's manifested presence. God's manifested presence is when on one accord, we can almost feel him in the room. And hear me when I say this, the last time something like that happened, i never forget it. We're at the Boutwell, not even on a good Sunday. And men started coming to the altar and the praise team started worshiping and the band had their hands lifted. That's when I can tell you is that when the spirit infiltrates this area, that when a joy overcomes them and it's almost like a feeling that you could feel. And from that day till now, we sow collectively and we begin to see God do wonders. Some of my members who've been with me for years, the word that God released that day was double favor. And some of you guys remember that and God started moving in a way like never before. I speak, it's on the way. I release that into the atmosphere. God, we release that into this atmosphere in the presence of an open heaven. And I'm finna sow today and Oh, God. See, when I was younger, I would get excited when God showed up because I knew he was about to break something. But now that I done lived a little, I realize sometimes when God shows up, he breaks something by breaking something. And I just speak over our lives that this is a God moment. In this room online, from Birmingham to Boston to California, wherever you're watching me from, this is a God moment. James walked up to me while we were in worship and he said, you won't believe this. And he showed me there are probably more people watching online that has ever watched in the history of our church. And hear me when I say this, that's not because the message is good. 
What if God in his sovereignty had people log on who normally don't? Because he needed to release a word that they could not afford to miss. And that word is, it's very simple. It's on the way. And when you wake up in the morning and you're on your way to work, you need to say, Lord, it's on the way. Baby girl, when anxiety and fear try to overtake your mind and that, that pain of fitting in and that pain of trying to be understood and you just sitting there like, Lord, it's on the way. It's on the way. We can't, ain't, we can't beat understanding in the people. We can't love it into them. Sometimes God, whew, there are certain seasons where God purposefully makes you misunderstood. Because if you got understanding, you would run from prayer. So in certain seasons, he keeps you in a state of confusion because he wants you to, he wants to be the GPS. Trust in the Lord. Y- y'all miss what I just said. Wow. Hear me. For thus says the Lord, the word for our church right here. The word, our, our vision is strong, but here's the word God released. Amos 9, 13 and 15. It won't be long now. Things are gonna happen fast, your head will swim. One thing, on, one thing fast on the heels of the other, you won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. Everywhere you look. Now, I wanna give you clarity, because I'm finna sow on behalf of our church. I want, I want you to catch this. Everywhere you look, I want, I want to free you. That means you may walk out of here today and something may happen. It won't change, but the way you look at it will. Y'all miss what I just said. Parents, your child may bring a D home tomorrow on their progress report. And you know what you're going to say? Look at my little blessing. Because God... Sometimes he wants to see how you handle what's happening in your life at the time that it's happening. I'm sowing right here. Amos chapter 9, verse 13 through 15. All right? I'm sowing. And it's about 150 of you going to sow on behalf of everybody as well. I'm sowing $915, 9, verse 15 through 15. I'm sowing into that because I'm speaking by faith that God is about to allow us to experience collectively a season of unprecedented blessings. I don't think you heard what I just said right there. I don't know who's in this room and who's in this room and who's here, but I rarely say this and I rarely do this. Wherever you are, you need to sow with me. It's bigger than you. You're believing God for too much. Sometimes strong faith requires strong sacrifice. You may be in this room right now and that's you. You may be watching online right now and that's you. God is asking of you a hard thing because there is something on another level that he desires to bring to you. Hear me when I say this and you're going to, I promise hear me when I say this. I am proof that honoring God, there is no shortcut for that. There is no scheme for that. It requires faith. Somebody say faith. Every entrepreneur, listen to me, it requires faith. So in this room and online, we're sowing 915. If that's you, I want you to begin to sow right there. You're in this room right now. What I'm telling the church, we're sowing 915 on behalf of what God is doing in our lives. And corporately, there were certain people throughout Jesus' walk who he had with him. Look up uh, Naaman. All right, look up Joseph of Arimathea. Look up Joseph of Arimathea. There were certain people that God allowed in his disciples, allowed around him because they carried the burden in the heart for people. Hear me when I say this. God is doing something fresh in this moment. That's you. What am I calling the rest of the church to do right now? You need to sow whatever increment of that you can. I don't know if it's $91.50. I don't know if it's $9.15. But the number I speak over our life is Amos 9, 13 through 15. This is a God moment. I release supernatural faith over each and every one of you right now. I speak by faith that we will not come in and experience God and just leave out feeling better. But I decree and declare that we will leave seed 
in the ground. I decree and declare that we will leave seed in the ground from Birmingham to Boston to Detroit to Florida to California to Dubai to London. I speak by faith the prophetic word that was released over this church that it's on Michael. It is on the way. I speak Amos chapter 9 verses 13 through 15 over our lives collectively over every man's life over every woman's life over every couple's life over every single's life over every teenager's life over every child's life every over father's life every mother's life every husband every wife every son every daughter every entrepreneur every professional every God, every person under the sound of my voice I speak didn't decree by faith that is on the way. I said it's on the way, church. You ought to just shout, I receive that right there. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to begin to sow. And Dre, you can show them how to give. Do not, and hear your pastor when I say this, any other day I will let you walk out that door and say it's just, it's between you and God. Every now and then as your leader, I got to tell you the truth. This is a God moment. This is a God moment. Don't get in that car. And look back over your life and be like, mm, this is a God moment. And what I hear God saying is that as we sow, we will begin to reap that which we sowed into. Father, in Jesus' name, as we prepare to leave, that I don't want to ruin this moment at all. God, as we prepare to leave and brag this wherever you are, praise team wherever you are, if you can just worship with us. God, we thank you for a visitation. I thank you, God, that you have manifested your presence in this room. I pray somebody at home felt God. I pray some brother in the balcony will leave saying, God, I need it. That I pray some sister will say, Father, all the confirmation and affirmation I needed. God, I pray some senior will come and say, you know what, God? I would want it to be a part of a church where they still had God and still felt power. God, I speak by faith that you are doing what eyes have not seen. And ears have not heard neither has it entered the hearts of men the great things that you have in store for your people surely the goodness and mercy of God will continue to follow us all the days of our lives God this is where we want to dwell this is the type of presence we need where God we can feel you in the room I thank you God that it won't be long now Woo! I thank you God that it won't be long now, that it's already on the way. It is in Jesus' name we pray. We pray a simple prayer today, God. Lord, your will, nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. I may not see it now, but I know it's on the way. I may not see it now, but I know it's on the way. I may not see it now, but I know it's on the way. It's on the way. Be, it's on the way. It's on the way. Can I see your microphone? You were singing a minute ago. Sing that for us, brother. Something has to break. I feel it in this room. Holy Spirit move. Something has to break. Cause when you have your way. Something has. Cause something has to break. Tear down. I tear down every lie. Set the wrong thing right. Cause when you have your way. Something has to burn 
something has to break yeah. right now in your name something has to break something has to break something has something has There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. What does it do, Rock City? To break every chain, 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 break every chain. Let's sing it together. There is power. There is power in the name.
in all of your ways, perfect in all of your ways, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. I sought the Lord in all of my problems, and he answered back to me. He said what name you need I sought the Lord In all of my problems He answered back to me 
He asked what name you need. He said, do you need Jaira? I'll be provided. Do you need Yahweh? Watch me make a way. Do you need Rafa? I am still here, love. Whatever you need, I can become. All you need to know is the name that's above all. The name that's above all of us. The name above all. Do you need child? I am provider. Do you need Yahweh? You can watch me make a way. Do you need child? I am provider. Do you need Yahweh? Watch me make a way, cause it's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Ooh. Do you need Jaira? I am provided. Do you need Yahweh? You can watch me make a way. Do you need Jaira? I am provided. Do you need help? You can watch me make a way. God, we thank you. God, I... I almost don't even want to leave out of the sanctuary because I don't want to return to some of the problems I got to deal with when I leave here. So God, give us the strength to take this spirit with us. God, I touch and agree with every person who sold into that moment. I touch and agree with those who sold 915 or whatever variation of that that were obedient to the word of God, God. For the Bible declares that if you honor the prophet, you will prosper. In this moment of prophetic utterance, we sow because there's a level of prosperity that we desire, not in the form of millions in the bank account, but God, give me more peace than problems. Give me more joy than drama. Give me more favor than my fights. I want prosperity in more ways than money. So God, I touch and agree with each and every one of them. God, I pray and I release what the Bible calls supernatural faith. That is faith for a specific moment. I speak that over their lives. Faith to trust you, faith to believe. I touch and agree that it is manifesting in our lives even now. And we hold fast to Amos chapter 9, verses 13 through 15, that it won't be long now. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody ought to just shout, I receive that, I receive that. Don't lie to me. Can you feel God in the room and online today? Can you? Amen. Listen, I love you. I'm praying for you. Hear your pastor when I say this, and I'm going to say it again because there's so much I want for you. And I feel like I can be a little bold, real soft, right? I can be a little bolder right here because I'm going to stay up and pray for you all night. Don't walk out this room without sowing a seed today. Hear me when I say that. Any other Sunday, I would look at you and say, God bless you. This is a God moment. Bro, this is a God moment. And I speak by faith that everything that you've been praying for and the stuff you asked me to pray with you for, I speak by faith that it's already done and God's making ways in the, out of no way, rivers in the desert. Father, we thank you in advance. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say it. Amen. I love y'all so much, man. God bless you. We love you so much. Come on, band. Play right there. Come on.
to you.